This shortcuts video is going to be a little different than some of my other ones. This one's going to be a little more advanced. So if you haven't watched the first three or are not too familiar with the shortcuts app, I highly recommend you start with my first three videos on shortcuts. I'll make sure links are in the description below. In this shortcuts video, we're going to be talking about some advanced scripting actions, but we're also going to be talking about X callback URLs. X callback URLs is what basically shortcuts is built on. It's a URL just like how www.google.com is a URL, but instead of opening a web page, these open up apps. And within opening up the apps, they can be called to do certain things, like create a document and drafts or create a task and things. There's all sorts of apps that support it. In fact, there's a terrific web page that lists every app that supports X callback URLs. Again, I'll make sure it's in the description below. I highly recommend everyone that wants to get serious about shortcuts knowing this because it really can make your life a lot easier. It's a lot to learn and hopefully this video can help you. So the shortcut we're gonna be making today will be creating a new draft in the app Drafts 5, but it'll also be picking from a list of tags. If you come over here, we'll open up my Drafts app, and you can kind of see I have some work areas down here, and these are all based on tags, and I kind of want everything to go in there as the predetermined tag. So that way, you know, when I type my draft out, I just type what I want to be in the draft, and then I can pick from the tag list. What's interesting about drafts and the way it's supported in shortcuts is there is a bunch of options in here. You can dictate a new draft. You can, you can open a new draft. You can, you can add a draft. You can do all sorts of things, but there's no option to tag a draft. So this is where X callback URLs come in. X callback URLs are important for doing customizable shortcuts. The Siri shortcut suggestions, they're fantastic with third-party apps, and I'm really glad to see them being updated with a lot of apps right now but they don't cover everything and they may not cover everything you want. So if an app supports X callback URLs, it would be really, really great to take advantage of that. So let's kind of get into this. So what we're gonna kind of want to do with this shortcut is we're gonna want to take a note, then have a list of our tags, and then we're going to have that go into an X callback URL, which will then take that URL and make a drafts note out of it. So let's get started. So the very first thing we're gonna do is ask for input. And what we're going to do is we're just going to call this note with a question mark. So here we will put our note. And I'm a terrible speller. So I'm going to do correct spelling. And so what this will do is if I misspell anything, and chances are I will misspell something, this will fix my spelling for me. And since we're dealing with an X callback URL, everything has to be encoded as a URL. When you type a URL, you don't just type a space. It's actually percentage 20 is the URL code for space. But we don't want to have to type that every time we want to do a space. So this, if we use this URL encode action, we can just type the note as we normally would. It'll correct the spelling, and then it'll encode it as a URL. So it'll take all the spaces and put the right, uh, the right symbols in there, punctuation, all that kind of fun stuff. So we don't have to worry about it. So this will be the note right here. So we can type this right here. We can call this Pizza the Hut. And hey, look, there's the URL encoded version of Pizza the Hut. All right, so we have our ask for input, so it'll grab the note, it'll correct our spelling and do the URL encode. That's great. But we want to pull from a, a list of predefined tags. Uh, and drafts tagging is pretty big action. And I like to use drafts for my note taking. You don't have to use drafts. There's a bunch of other text uh, text applications. I just kind of find drafts to be my personal favorite. Plus, it's kind of going to work best for this video. Fun fact: X callback URLs originated because of the drafts app. So I don't think without the drafts app, we may not even have workflow, let alone shortcuts. At least not the version that we have now. Um, so this action that I just dropped in here is called list and it's got a couple of things in here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these and we're going to hit a new item. So what list does is it allows you to actually essentially just do that, make a list of predetermined, uh, things that we want to pull from. So a list of my tags in this case. So my tags and drafts are notes, uh, scripts for, uh, videos like these blog posts, if I could spell that website podcast 
and finally junk. Okay, so these are the tags that I want to pull from. Uh, but we need to be able to select those. If Now, if we just ran this right now, it wouldn't do anything with any of that. We need to be able to choose from that list. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do choose from list. One of my favorite things about shortcuts is when you're building these actions out, if you think of it in a very um, step one, step two, step three process, if you just start typing in the search bar about like what you want next, most likely it's there and most likely it's in the simplest term possible, which is really nice. So uh, here we're gonna, for prompt, we're gonna just type in tag. So it'll ask us for what tag. We could even select multiple if we want. I personally only like to use one tag per note. That way it kind of keeps me from like over tagging things. Um, since I do have something in here that has a space, I am also gonna do another URL encode. Just to be on the safe side, just to make sure everything is encoded as a URL because an X callback URL is a URL. It's really important that everything's formatted properly in the URL scheme, just like if you would type www.google.com. It would have to be formatted that. You couldn't go www.com.google. It wouldn't work. So, um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to Safari and I have the drafts web page up right here. So this is the drafts page for how X callback URLs are supported with the app. Now, most likely every single app that supports X callback URLs are going to have some sort of web page like this. You just kind of have to Google search for it. In fact, here, we'll, we'll, we'll do one right now. This is actually one of my favorite ones. I, I know this one exists. Um, Things3 does a really nice job of you can kind of just come in here and just type stuff in and it'll actually build out the URL for you right here. That's actually kind of cool. So you don't really even have to know how to format these. Um, it'll just build it out for you. And you can do all sorts of stuff. You can create title, text, notes, checklists, when stuff is due, tags, all sorts of crazy stuff. Again, this is another reason why I recommend things. I know it's a pricey app, but they definitely put a lot of work into it. Um, so back to back to draft. So this is the one that I want. So we want create, but there's also open, get, prepend, append, replace range, search, all sorts of crazy stuff that you could do in here. We're not going to get into any of that. We're just going to get the create one right now. Copy. And we'll go back to shortcuts. Okay. So what we want is since this is a URL, we just want to get URL. And we're going to paste this right in here. Um, so how this works is you can kind of see there's the application name colon forward slash forward slash. So that's going to open up drafts five. Then it's going to run this X callback URL, the create. So if we come back over here, this is the create section. This means it will create a draft. And then once it creates the draft, this is the text it'll put in. Well, we don't want it to say hello world. We want it to be from our notes. So again, this is where magic variables come in from my previous videos. I talked about those. So we want this URL encode right here from our ask for input for the notes section. And again, just like in the previous videos, I'm gonna recommend renaming this. So we'll call this notes, especially since we have two URL encodes in this uh, shortcut, it's important to rename it. So that's it right there. So that is our, if we were to do this, run this right now, we could type test one. We pick from the tags and it doesn't do anything. So right now it doesn't do much. And even though we picked from the tags, we didn't tell it to pull from the tag section. So what we need to do is we need to add the and symbol and the and symbol, we'll come back over here, we'll add certain things to this. So right now we have text. So text starts off with this. So it'll put text in the draft. And then if you add an and and add any of these other ones, these arguments, it'll allow you to string these multiple things together. It'll allow you to put all these different deals together. So we're going to do and tag equals. And then we're gonna do magic variable again. We're gonna get the URL encode. And we'll, we'll rename this one again, tag. Perfect, so it's now formatted nice and neat. I, I like this, okay. Uh, but as we ran it earlier, we saw it didn't even open up drafts. So that wasn't very helpful. So we're going to do open X callback URL. And you know what? Just for giggles, we're also going to do exit shortcut. 
So this way, when it returns, it'll exit us from the shortcut. So let's do this. We're gonna do run. We're gonna do new video idea. And we're gonna tag this with script. Perfect, so it exits from the shortcut. Let's go into drafts here. So as you can see, it's in our script section right here. So you, I'll pull up the tag so you can kind of see. It tagged it with script. It's in the new video idea. I could have typed a whole script out in that thing, but it's got all of our punctuation, spaces, all of that ready to go. So now what we can do is I'll come over here and I'll exit. I already have mine all set up ready to go. So we can come over here and hit new draft, type in new blog post idea. And then we can come over here, new blog post idea. You can see it's tagged with blog post, new blog post idea. So this is a really easy, quick way to just quickly type a note, get your thoughts out of your head, put it in your note-taking ta note application, and just get done with it. I really like this. I use this a lot. You can use this um, if you want to get a little more into this. You could use the prepend or append action and make like a shopping list or a movies to watch list. Um, you can use this for meetings. You could use this for all sorts of different things. I find this to be really useful. So as you saw, that was our shortcut. Um, I like drafts because drafts is my note-taking application of choice. It, I put all my text in there. It does a really good job of organizing it. If you like some other application and supports X callback URLs, like OneWriter I know does, that's great. There's also built-in stuff. Um, I believe Bear also supports X callback URLs, um, but there's a bunch of stuff in here as well. Um, you can add to Bear Note. You can create a Bear Note. I, uh, I don't have Bear installed, unfortunately. Um, I do have Create Note. Apple Notes uh, <laughs> shortcut, unfortunately, doesn't do a whole lot. You can't do a whole lot with it. It just creates the notes. So whatever your input is, it'll just create it. It doesn't have support for tagging or anything like that. So I, I don't use it too much, uh, but it is there if that's what you want to use. There's a whole bunch of text editing applications that are there um, for your choice. Um, the one thing I want to show, and I'm going to go into my version of this uh, shortcut. We'll go into new drafts here. I haven't talked about this and I really need to be better about this. Um, this comment action right here at the top, it allows you to kind of explain what's going on with this shortcut. Uh, so you can kind of, if you're planning on making a shortcut and sharing it out with people, you can kind of explain how it works and if they can need to modify anything to make it their own personal stuff so you can modify it. So I talk about how you can change the tags at any time and it won't break the shortcut. Uh, so that's kind of X callback URLs. Like I was kind of showing you guys over here, Things has a lot of great options in here to do it. I'll also pull up the, uh, this is the page right here with all the apps that support X callback URLs. There's a ton here. There's a ton to pick from. OmniFocus, Gladys, uh, Terminology, Textastic, Trello, Ulysses. There's a ton of stuff in here. I definitely recommend learning uh, X callback URLs. This is really just but a taste of it. I, there's so much more out there to do with it. You guys, if you have any questions, find me on Twitter. I'm at Chris underscore Lolly. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back again with some more shortcuts videos and iPad videos, of course.